Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, I got some progress um, here. So um, the deck boards are all finished and down as far as um, you know the decking is concerned. So all the way up. Very nice, I can actually walk in and out of my um, sliding door now. <laughs> so yeah, ni nice size deck I have to say. Um, that's exactly eight feet from this wall out eight feet. Um, it's real long though. <laughs> uh, also, we was able to, well, my brother actually, I had to work on Friday, but um, he was able to um, finish up the blocking. So we didn't have all this blocking in before. So now he put all that blocking in. Uh, he also put the blocking in on in the second bedroom here and he also put the blocking in on the first bedroom so that's really really nice so now um yeah i'm pretty much ready to um call the um electrician and um, try to set up a day or whatever day he's got available to come out and wire the home um because we wanted to finish the blocking right because actually i have that light needs to go on that blocking right there anyway right so kind of needed to get it all um, up there and out of the way and done right so at least that's all squared away and over with so um yeah we do have some progress right we got the deck all done very nice and we got the blocking done now the only thing that i still need to do is like i did on this side of the on this side of the deck here is you see the rolls and nails right on this side what he did was he, you know, every board he put down, he put a nail, you know, here, here, there. So I have to come back and put the second nail in. So every single one's got, you know, there's a second nail I have to put in. So <laughs> there's like hundreds of nails that's got to <laughs> be put back in here. Um, but the main thing is it is down. And um, I think maybe tomorrow is going to be Sunday. So I'll go ahead and probably... Um, finish putting the rest of the nails in so that way it's all nice and secured and nice and tight and you know that project is over with as far as the deck boards is concerned now um, going forward I guess you can see all the scraps that we've been cutting up and using and all that stuff got some still good some good lumber in there you know some cutoffs we can still use and stuff or whatever um, but I was talking to my brother and um he said right here you guys can see this is all the trim the trim pieces so they have to finish painting that uh, there's some more trim pieces over there where it's all white so we have a bunch of trim pieces so he said that he'll probably go ahead and um put the trim on because we got to put trim around the windows we still got to peel off all the tape and all the stuff from when we were painting the house right so um put the trim around the windows just like how we have around the door right Around that window. I mean, we got to put a lot of trim on, guys. There's a lot, a lot of trim that's got to go all the way around everything, you know. Um, the corners, we, we got to close up the corners with the trim, right? So that way that looks nice and neat. Around the windows, around the sliding door, you know. Um, all along there. So we got to put all that trim on. Uh, he also mentioned that he's probably going to go ahead to, and um, we got those beams right there. I think we've got one, two, there might be one more someplace else. But... Uh, we have those two real long beams so uh, i think he said he's gonna go ahead and maybe um put them up on the um post here so that way when we bring the roof out we can uh, meet up to it right and that'll also help lock in the the top part right so that's probably his next game plan is just work on the trim and um, put the beams up but when he puts the beams up because you know they're big and long i'll probably go ahead and help him um slap those up um you know it's just gonna be a lot easier right and uh yeah, so things are really coming along here, guys. Really, 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 really coming along. Now, um, the only reason I have not called the electrician yet is I'm still debating and thinking about options for my uh, kitchen here, right? And a lot of you guys have left some good comments about your options or opinions on, you know, what kind of layout you, you thought was nice or whatever, right? So... Um, I'm still thinking about it. You guys have given me a lot of um, advice. I, well, I, would I should say ideas, really. Because um, I was thinking about putting the stove right here, not underneath the window, right? But over here. Well, 
you, a lot of you guys have mentioned about putting the stove in the corner, right? And then just have the countertop come up and meet it. So I'm actually been thinking about that. And I know some of you guys said, don't put it in the corner. But um, I mean, it's my home, right? So at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy, that's the main thing, right? But I, I kind of, for some reason, I kind of like the idea of having the stove in the corner, guys. Um, to me, it just seems like it would be more flowing instead of blocky, right? If I put the stove here, then just have the countertop running that way. It's kind of blocky, right? If I put it in the corner, then my countertops will just flow right to the right to it, right? I mean, both ways it'll work, but you know, just options. Um, because I need to figure out that before I can actually call the electrician. Because wherever I'm not going to have countertop, you know, I got to figure out where my um, plugs are going to be above the countertop, right? So, I mean, on this side, it's pretty easy, right? We're going to start the countertop. Originally, I was going to start the countertop, guys, from the very corner of um, right here where the sliding door is. But I, I didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this stud right here and start the countertop from there going. That way, there's just a little space between the, you know, the area and everything. And then you run the countertop that way. So uh, I am still thinking about the stove thing. Um, I am also still thinking about the island that I want to put together. Uh, you guys have left some good comments about that as well. Um, you know, maybe putting the stove in the island and all that. And, you know, I have thought about that, guys. But the thing is, is like the, the island for me, you know, whatever size I decide to have it built or build it or whatever. Um, I, I don't think putting the stove in the island would be ideal for me. I mean, it would look neat, yes. But I'm going to use the, the island as a, you know, dinner table or sit around table or whatever it is. Put some chairs or some bar stools around it. You know, that kind of stuff. If I have a stove in the middle of the island, you know, I don't have that much space to work with as far as um, like a dinner table or something, right? So I think, you know, leaving, putting the, the stove, you know, against the wall someplace or in the corner is going to be a better situation for me. Just going to be easier, right? Let's say I have some people come over and, you know, we need a place to sit down and eat, right? Well, at least the, the island will be there and have a lot of room on there so that we can just put chairs all the way around and you got a place to um, enjoy your dinner or whatever it may be, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking about things. But things are really starting to close up here as far as, um, you know, projects and um, endeavors here. So I'm really happy. And um, I don't know if you guys can see, I moved that, we moved the chop table, the chop saw out of the way and the table. So now you guys can kind of see how much more room really there is, right? So there's a lot of room in the living room, a lot, which is very nice, you know? So anyway, guys, um, as things come along here and I make more decisions, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I think what I really need to do is find an object or maybe even a box like this, right? that's the same size of the stove because me I do better with seeing a vis like actually seeing visually an item placed somewhere it really gives me a better idea of wrapping my head around what the finished looks going to look like so I'm I think I might have a box that's going to be the same size as the um, stove and I can just put it in the corner and take a step back take a look see how everything's going to flow move it over there move you know just move it around you know and just get a better idea of what I'm looking at really so I mean, and if I do put the stove in the corner, I mean, I'm going to have a little gap right between the back of the stove and the corner. And I could fill that gap in with something, right? You know, I could put a back, I could still do a backsplash even though it's the corner, right? I can build a little wall here and um, on the back side of the um, stove and put a backsplash of tile or whatever it may be, right? And then countertop, sink, countertop, countertop, refrigerator, countertop. So, yeah, I mean, the only reason I'm kind of thinking about the stove being in the corner now, not only have you guys mentioned it, but, you know, even if I move the stove over away from the window, it's still pretty close to the window, right? So, I mean, it's going to get stuff on it, right? I mean, you cannot control the grease when it starts to, you know, um, pop and everything. It's going to go where it wants to go. So, um, you know, either that or I'm really going to have to just move it over a little bit more to kind of give me more of a gap from the window itself because i really don't want to deal with cleaning that window when you have like gunk on it man that's gonna suck right so yeah anyway guys when i come up with uh some more progress here and um some ideas as far as the island is concerned um i'll definitely um put some videos up for you guys and i'll uh, keep you guys up to date anyway guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video